I was, yo, I had the information of a high performance person and a multi-millionaire when I was sleeping on the floor. It was only a matter of time that my monetary gain or my money caught up to the information. We're having the uncomfortable conversation. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on? This is G. Bryant. I'm CEO of X28 Fitness and the Loft Athletic Club. These are a couple companies I've built years ago, multi-million dollar companies. Um, I own some other companies, I do some investing, but my goal here on YouTube is to help you get to the next level of yourself. You know, um, tapping into that God space in you, um, raising your energy and helping you elevate to the next level. Uh, these are the things that I believe once you have these things, you can do anything in life. So, and that's my goal. So, let's get into it. So, one of the things I get a lot of questions about, uh, people ask me is, uh, I'm super big on like manifestation and how do you attract what you want in life? You know, if you don't know my story, um, I was, down and out many times in my life, you know what I'm saying? Um, I used to live, you know, I slept in my car at times, slept on floors, uh, I moved uh, from Philadelphia to Atlanta with nothing, and I built a multi-million dollar empire, so to speak, uh, and people wanna know, like, you know, how do you manifest what you want? And I tell, this is one of the biggest things you gotta understand about manifestation, is a lot of people think the law of attraction and manifestation works where you just, you meditate on things and you write down what you want, you put down a vision board or a book and you do it the new year or whatever, and it's just gonna come to you. That's not how it works. There's a law of auto-suggestion, and also to make these things plain and simple, you have to suggest to yourself every day what you want. You have to immerse yourself in what you want. You have to surround yourself by these things as much as possible. You have to change your environment inside before you, your environment changes outside and that's what you have to create that environment internally before it ever even manifesting to your physical reality so what i mean by that is when i was coming up and i said i wanted to make millions what i did was i immersed myself in those teachings every single day every single day i listened to a millionaire i wanted to know what they thought about how did they think you know what were they doing what were they, what were they leaving behind i read books about all types of things that will lead me to get to where I want to go. So, um, I also treated the life that I was living as if it was the life I wanted already, right? And that's a super big key to manifestation is, I had a car, right, that um, I was driving. It was a Lincoln MKZ. Now, I had got this Lincoln from my past life because I had got some money in the past. And then when I tried to do get money in, uh, as an entrepreneur, that's where it kind of got shaky. It's, it's a long story. We'll talk about it on another story. So I had like an MKZ, and it was an older one. It was new, newer when I got it, but it was older when I had it. And I wanted to get like the next Benz. Like I wanted a Benz bad. Like that was the thing I wanted in my life when I used to be attached to those type of things, I've moved to a space in my life where, you know, material things don't move me. If I like it, I get it, I understand it, but I am a car guy. But anyway, back to the story. So one day I was driving down the highway and I saw a Benz, like the Benz I wanted, it was like the top of the line one, two door coupe, you know, AMG. And I was like, yo, what is that, right? And I was like, I want that car. And I saw like another one another day, another day, I'm like, yo, I've never seen this car in my life, I want that car. And I used to curse my Lincoln, like I used to be so mad that I was driving that joint, like I felt like I should be driving something different, like I felt like I should have a Benz, but I, I my, my assets and, and anything didn't, didn't show that, you know, my cash flow didn't show that, but I thought that in my head, right? And then one day I was like, you know what? If I want a Benz, I'm gonna drive this Lincoln and treat it as if it's a Benz, right? I'm gonna manifest the Benz by treating this Lincoln as such and I'm gonna do the work. So I'm gonna appreciate every single moment of this Lincoln, right? I washed it twice a week, I vacuumed it, 
I mean, I was sleeping in it from time to time as well, you know what I'm saying? So I kept it as nice as possible and I, and I appreciated every single moment of it. And what I also started doing was I started to appreciate just life in general. I appreciated every single moment of breathing. I appreciated the sun. I appreciated being able to wake up every single day, right? And I started to appreciate my life as if I had made it, quote unquote, from a monetary perspective of where I wanted to be. And what that did is it took the pressure off of me looking at life like why and it took it, it put it put a, a different energy inside of me that said try right and i'm not looking like why is life happened to me why these things happen to me why did i have to change my life why did i you know end up in some situations i didn't want to be in why did i start dealing in the streets like why did i start doing certain things i didn't start and then, and then replaying that over and over again so I wanted to manifest a new life. So I had to start treating myself at this current position like I wanted my new life, like I was living it right now. So that's what I did. And I cut out everything else that wasn't involved with this new elevation or this new way of thinking. And I continued to listen to millionaires every day. I started reading books every single day. You know what I'm saying? I read books and books and books about personal development, about understanding um, income, understanding you know marketing, everything I was gonna be involved with with building my businesses, right? Things that I didn't even know I was gonna need, I just read about because ignorance is the biggest hedge against pro progression. And self-education is the only thing that will beat that, you know, will beat ignorance, is self-education. You know, what we don't know keeps us where we are. So when I started to understand that fact that there was so much knowledge and different things that I wasn't involved in, that allowed me to understand the level of manifestation a little bit longer. So now I'm taking all of these things, right? So I'm living my life in gratitude and I'm living the life as if I have it already, right? I'm, I'm, I'm exuding that feeling. I'm putting that energy out into the world. I'm telling God, listen, this is, this is I'm ready to receive, right? Also, I'm understanding the law of, of auto-suggestion, meaning I'm immersing myself in these things as well. I'm not just living it like woo woo woo, woo like you know what I'm saying? Like, it, that ain't gonna work. I have to immerse myself, right? So I'm immersing myself in books, literature, right? Then visual is big too. So I, I used to take these boards, I used to have vision boards, and I just, just make your typical vision board where it's like, this is what I want. Cut out a picture of the car, boom, put some glitter on that. Here's the vision board, wow. No, no, I didn't do that. I made boards that were very detailed and they had steps. Three months, six months, nine months. What did I want to accomplish in three months? What did I want to accomplish in six months? And then what did I want to accomplish in nine months? I would make these boards, vision boards. And at the top of each board, I would put a monetary goal at the top of each board, right? And the reason why I put a monetary board, because we're human. And when you're in the first level, I guess, of awakening or human experience or business, sometimes you need monetary things to keep you going. Like, you want nice things. So don't ever let anybody tell you there's something wrong with wanting nice things. You know, I've come to understand them on a different level, but I'll put a monetary goal at the top of each board. But then I will put on that board, what are the steps I have to get to get to this, to this goal? And they have to be very realistic, right? So three months, six months, nine months, that's how I would make my board. Three months were my short-term goals, six months were my goals that I wanted to accomplish, you know, within that period. And nine months was like, what do I want to do around nine months to a year? I'm gonna tell you what happened though. I would put my three month goals together and I'll put my goals on the board and I had, they had to be attainable. Three months is, it has to be attainable. And I'll start checking some of those off early, right? And once I got to the, to the top of the board, like sometimes I would like beat the monetary goal at the top of the board. Right, and when I got to my six months goals, sometimes my six months goals will be completed in some of the three month goals, and then when I get to my nine month goals, sometimes I was making new goals because I had already completed some of those goals. Right, so I got in a process of just making goals in three months, six months, nine months, and one t at one point I had put the car at, at the top of one of my goals, one of my boards. This is one of the years I was in doing. I've been doing it for a few years. I saw the car one year, and then I, uh, three years later I bought the car doing this process of three months, six months, nine months goals. And what I came to realize is once I was able to buy the car, car, for those years I had no longer been chasing the car. I was chasing the steps that I put on the board and the car was at the top. And that, in, in between that process, I had become such a great person to a certain extent uh, with the things I had to do to be, become that, to manifest that car. So. Manifestation works, but it only works if you work. And 
you know, the deeper love, love layer of the uh, law of attraction is we create our own realities. We literally create our own realities. What we know to be true is what we create. So you have to think about what is your reality. And if you don't like your reality, you, you can change it. And a lot of people say, well, I'm in a space where I can't change. I'm in, a, I'm in an environment where I can't change. Believe you me, I've been in environments that people may say, you can't get out of this. And that's where it goes back to understanding that you have to change your internal environment before you can change your external environment. So I had the information of a high performance person and a multimillionaire when I was sleeping on the floor. I had the same information that got me here back then, right? I just didn't have the, what, what, it, what, it, what it was. I didn't have what people would think this person would have. I had the information though, because I was living it back then. It was only a matter of time that my monetary gain or my money caught up to the information, to the, manifest, the things that I was trying to manifest. I, I knew it back then. It's funny because people wouldn't even listen to me. I, listen, I could tell you something right now and somebody will listen to me. I could tell you the same thing five years ago and the person wouldn't listen to me. It was the same information. I was so happy when I found out about this new world of being able to get, you know, kind of what you wanted out of life and, you know, build your dream. That I was like, yo, I got to tell everybody, right? I started telling friends. They're like, you crazy. You reading books, listening to this. What? I'm like, yo, y'all don't get this? And I'm studying every day. I, don't, I didn't take a day off, right? I'm studying every day, reading books. Like, I made my most money doing other things. Like, that was the most money I made. And I thought that was the way to go. I thought if you wanted to get rich, you had to do something crooked. Period, right? That was my goal. I didn't think it really existed. Like, huh? Books? Studying? Like, what's, what are we doing? How does that work? No, I read books. I read books and I listened to YouTube and I immersed myself in what I wanted to be. I made vision boards. I put a car on a board and then I bought that car. I took the steps, right? And to this day now, where I'm at in life, like I said, I'm not big on the flashy no more. You know what I'm saying? I bought jewelry, I had cars, I clothes, I did trips, I did women, I did all that, right? And it got to the point where I needed to manifest the next level of me, right? And that, that level of me is super grounded, super neutral, right? That accepts all parts of themselves. This is where I'm at now in my manifestation journey, manifesting a life of unconditional love and peace, right? So it just depends on where you wanna go with your manifestation, but do understand this. The universal principles that govern this world have always stood the test of time. What has not stood the test of time is what we want to happen without following the universal principles and not understanding that God is the orchestrator of all of this, right? And when you learn this, right, life can be simple. I'm not gonna say it's easy, because there's a lot of shit you might have to go through to get to the simple. I had to go through it. I was making life super hard and blaming every single person but myself because I didn't run with the principles and they put me in unfavorable situations, right? But I'll tell you this, if you wanna manifest the life you want, another thing you have to stop doing is you cannot watch other people doing what you wanna do. The difference between you and another person, guess what? Is that they're probably just doing, right? And if you understand that there's an underlying energy behind all of this that's pushing us in our, in our own spaces, to our own journeys, then you be able to listen to who you need to listen to, which is yourself and God, and move in a space that's just for you. A lot of people are moving down roads or riding down roads that they car ain't even meant to go down. And that's why they getting flat tires and that's why the check engine light going on. It was a road made for you. I went down the road that wasn't meant for me. I'm in a luxury vehicle trying to go off road. That ain't my road. Why well, I'm doing that, right? And when I started understanding what my road was, the road is fairly smooth. It don't just involve all the extra shit. The extra shit that you think you need to manifest the life you want. And if you understand this world is very simple, 
right? To kind of move in a direction that you want. That's one of the biggest keys in manifesting your life. See, I'm gonna tell you what happened in the world, right? These truths were already known. Actually, you already know the truth of how to build what you want. It's more not, it's not more, it's not about trying to figure it out. It's more about remembering. Like, because when you were young, you kind of already manifested. You kind of moved down your own road. You know, life was simple, it was joyous. You just, you just wanted different things than what you wanted as an adult. So when you become an adult, it's kind of more the same, but just doing it in a way where you have a lot more that you have to kind of filter out, but you still just move in that direction that you understood when you were young. And you keep it simple. So what I mean by that for me, keeping it simple was, I'll recap this was, you know, reading the books, immersing myself in what I wanted to be and what I want to create every single day, creating that environment, making sure that my neurons were firing and understanding this is what we're doing here, listening to the things that I wanted to become every single day, right? And showing extreme gratitude for where I was at in my present moment and reverse engineering the way I thought about the world from a why me to try me. And I'm gonna try as well. And I'm gonna move to this world and be everly abundant, spiritually, mentally, physically, monetarily, right? And I'm gonna manifest the life I want. So what you wanna ask yourself is, don't ask yourself what you want. What are you willing to immerse yourself in? And what are you willing to work for? What are you willing to have gratitude for? Because if you ask yourself those questions, it goes from what you want to what will you actually do? Because the only person that's gonna manifest what they want in life is a person that's about doing the things that are necessary to manifest it. We're just not gonna put it out on a board and throw it up in the air and say, hooray, maybe this will happen. Oh my goodness, I, I hope, thank you, please God, please give me this, please give me that. It's not how manifestation works. So those are the questions you ask yourself because I want you to be great. I live many lives in this lifetime in a very short period of time. And I've gotten to a point in my life where certain things don't move me, but exuding this energy to somebody else that needs it. And if that's something that you need, I believe that you're at the right space. And that's the G-Code.